What's up guys, we're talking about hip mobility this month and one of the drills I want to give you today is in regards to hip flexion. So hip flexion just allows us to touch the ground with our fingertips, our knuckles, eventually our palms. You'll notice I could do this with my knees bent or I can straighten them depending on my flexibility. So to get into the floor easily is just a great skill, especially as we get older and it also allows you to do exercises like deadlifts and RDLs pain free. So Today we're going to focus on using these Jenga blocks as a little task. So Matt's going to be my partner for a moment. I'm going to show you two variations that we can use. One being a little easier, which is just my feet underneath me. Matt's going to place these blocks all around me, anywhere that he'd like. They should be within reach, but he can challenge me a little bit. And for this, he chose this kind of triangle pattern. So now I'm just going to reach down with either hand and I'm going to try and pick them up. So first block, I pick it up, I come all the way to standing. Second block, I can do my right hand, but maybe I want to challenge myself and do my left. Okay, and then the last block, we'll see if I can reach it. Ugh, looks like it might be a little bit out of my reach, but I'm not going to give up. And if he's my partner, he's going to let me work here for about 10 seconds. Also important for you not to give up, right? Just like when we're reaching under the couch for the remote, you're going to go until your arm rips off. So don't give up on this Jenga block. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. You notice my heels want to lift. Oh, a little too far for me. So Matt's going to come back and he can place these anywhere again. But this time I'm going to make a slight adjustment. So he's going to place them, but I'm going to stand on one leg. So he's going to go around, place the blocks. Once again, he wants to make them reachable, uh, but challenging. So sort of a, a, not really a level two, it's kind of more of a jump than that. But if you can balance on one leg for 30 to 60 seconds, this is a great way to start working this. So now, same idea. I'm going to reach, I'm going to pick up the block. I'm going to stand all the way each time. So I'm in this deep hip flexion. Notice that I'm picking them up softly. Last one. This one I was able to use all my left hand, but maybe I'd want to change that. And I'm going to give them back. So Matt's going to place them again. And I'll stay on the same leg. We can do this for time or a certain amount of reps. And he's just going to place the three again. <clears throat> and so now we have a different orientation and all different types of hinges again. So more of a task than an exercise, which we really like to do. So we'll see if I can reach this one. Matt likes to place them out of my reach today. But it looks like that one's not possible, but I'm going to come back to it. See if I can get this one over here. You'll notice how I use counterbalance to be able to reach. And then last one here, I can try to go around either side, right? So here I can do pretty easily. So I actually want to try and challenge myself to get this reach. And it's work. Lose your balance, doesn't count. Okay, so one more. Matt's going to place these one more time. Don't be afraid to fail with these as well. So he's going to place them. We're going to pray Matt does not place these out of my reach this time because he's over two. Okay, and now he's going to give me a hand to pick it up with. He's going to tell me. So he's going to just point to one of them or point his toe and just say right or left. Left. So now I have to reach across. This would have been much easier. I'm going to actually have to reach across here. Whoa. Take my time. You notice all these little saves I have to make down here, and I come back. Let's go right. Right. Okay, and then last one. Let's go left. Left. Perfect. Okay. So now. We're going to give one more option here. So now we're going to give one more option here. And instead of placing them all at the same height, he's actually going to flip the Jenga blocks to place them at different heights here. So now Matt's going to come back in, place one more time. One of them he could lay flat. The other he can lay on its side. And then the other one, maybe he stands up upright like we had before. And we can mix and match. Maybe he tells me how to pick these up, or maybe I just decide which hand I want to use. I come down. 
I come up, you feel the, the glute and the hamstring quite a bit there. Why don't you use your middle and index fingers for this one? Middle and index fingers. Okay, he's giving me a real challenge here. So I'm going to try and pick this up. And what does this do? Like, why? Why, why do that? Well, you notice I kind of have to slow it down, pay more attention, be more careful with the block as I go down. And this could be really useful. So last one, maybe I'll do like a pincer grip here. Okay. And you notice I always pick them up. I don't slide them to myself like this. We see this all the time, kind of like one of these, right? So these are fun little tasks that you can use for yourself. You can place them yourself all around all around your body. Use 360 degrees here with a partner. Don't be afraid to fail a little bit, fall off the foot. And also, don't make it so hard that you're constantly falling off, right? We have this two foot variation that we can work with. We also can kind of just spot ourselves. Maybe I put this foot back and I have 80% of my weight in this leg, right? And then if this is too hard in general and you can't reach the floor, all we need to do is elevate. If the Jenga blocks are too low to the ground and you really can't reach them, then we're just gonna use something a little bit taller. So you can use a yoga block. This is a good example here. I do one leg, right? Or I can even do the two. And like I said, just play with this, explore. Grab a partner, do different positions. Try to go for time, maybe 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds, up to two minutes. Or you can give them 10 different spots until they get them all. So have fun with this one. Share, let us know if you try it, and we'll see you soon.